Hi, this is Carrie Cooper for Guitar Center's Focus on Rock. Now, in today's digital world, the internet has changed how we music fans mourn and react to the passing of rock and roll greats. And the passing of David Bowie was a day that everybody agreed we had indeed lost a musical great. Far from being a divisive figure, Bowie had the ability to bring unlikely folk together. The misfits, the rebels, the non-gender specific, the outsiders. A mesmerizing, otherworldly character that just loved to celebrate the good times and all things cosmic. Following the news of his death and upon learning how his latest album Black Star was a carefully thought out parting gift from him to his fans, we were left with a stark reminder that David Bowie's career had pretty much been a disappearing act throughout. Born David Robert Jones on the 8th of January 1947 in Brixton, South London, later to be known Bowie was noted for being an extraordinary character from a very young age. He gained a reputation for being a gifted and single-minded child and his early expressions of music and movement led him to become known as strikingly imaginative. Teachers called his interpretations vividly artistic and his poise astonishing for a child. The cliché about Bowie being a music chameleon is all but true, especially during his peak in the 70s. Prior to his breakthrough in 1972, he recorded a proto-metal record and a pop rock album, eventually redefining glam rock with his ambiguously sexy Ziggy Stardust persona. It could be argued that it was Ziggy who made Bowie a worldwide star. His mid-70s suave take on Philly Soul that became known as Plastic Soul sent him soaring above the rest, before heading to Berlin to create electronic experimental records with Brian Eno, once again shape-shifting his way across the shallow underground of popular music, with his 1970s efforts affecting the new romantics, new wave, punk, goths and electronica to come. However, it was his sudden yet classy sign-off that left fans reeling. Heartbroken and entertained all at once, with his 25th studio album Black Star dropping on January the 8th, the day of his 69th birthday and just two days before his death. He reached the number one spot in numerous countries and became his first and only album to reach number one on the Billboard 200 album chart in the US. Once listened to, following the shocking and sudden news of his death, it became apparent very quickly that this was an unbelievable act of artistic generosity from Bowie to the listener. As producer Tony Visconti is quoted as saying, he always did what he wanted to do and wanted to do it his way and he wanted to do it the best way. His death was no different from his life, a work of art. He made Black Star for us, his parting gift, I knew for a year that this was the way it would be. I wasn't, however, prepared for it. And we don't have to look too far within the lyrics to find that farewell message. Look up here, I'm in heaven. I've got scars that can't be seen. I've got drama, can't be stolen. Everybody knows me now. Look up here, man. I'm in danger. I've got nothing left to lose. I'm so high, it makes my brain well. Drop my cell phone down below. Ain't that just like me? David Bowie made an immeasurable impact on music and popular culture over five decades, selling an incredible 140 million copies worldwide, and will always be remembered as our star man, forever waiting in the sky. This is Carrie Cooper for Guitar Center's Focus on Rock. You can shop for the greatest selection of music gear on earth, in store, or at guitarcenter.com.